And our next story is from the United Kingdom. But before I start off, I want you to look at an advertisement. This one. This ad was posted by the Twitter handle of the UK's Labour Party. It features a picture of the UK's Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, and a caption which reads, Do you think it's right to raise taxes for working people when your family benefited from a tax loophole? Rishi Sunak does. Not just that, it follows that up by saying, and I'm quoting again, a Labour government would freeze council tax this year, paid for by a proper windfall tax on oil and gas giants. And what is all this about? Well, this was a direct attack on Rishi Sunak's wife, Akshita Murthy, a venture capitalist and the daughter of Narayana and Sudha Murthy, the founders of Indian multinational IT firm Infosys. Last year, when Sunak entered 10 Downing Street, questions started emerging on his wife's tax affairs. Reports said that she had potentially avoided paying 20 million euros in UK tax. That is around 197 crore rupees, give or take. And how? Well, through her non-domicile tax status. And what's that? A non-dom status, non-domicile status, typically applies to someone who was born overseas and spends much of their time in the UK, but still considers another country to be their permanent residence or domicile. So a report said that Murthy gets 11.5 million euros a year from her stake in Infosys and her non-domicile status. And this news, of course, did not go down well with the British opposition. They called it breathtaking hypocrisy. They accused Sunak of raising taxes on others during a cost of living crisis, but letting his wife reduce her liabilities. Akshita Murthy has promised to pay, pay her UK taxes on all her worldwide income, but the controversy has not died down. The Labour Party is still latching on to it to discredit Sunak's work as the Prime Minister. In fact, here's what the leader of the Labour Party recently said about this. I'm quoting, Rishi Sunak is the chief architect of choices prioritizing the wealthiest and of the government's failure to get a grip of the economy and get growth going. The voters must know that Rishi Sunak's fingerprints are all over their struggling household budgets. Now, here's the thing. Citizenship of an individual living in the UK is irrelevant when it comes to non-domicile status, as it is possible for a UK citizen or someone born in the UK to claim that they are a non-dom. And as for Rishi Sunak's wife, ever since the controversy broke out, she has given up the remittance basis, which lets non-doms shield their overseas income from the UK tax map. Yet, the Labour Party latches on to this controversy and it's also facing the consequences of doing so, in fact. Have a look at this report. The Labour leader is facing a furious backlash from his own MPs about the attacks against Sunak. The report states that Labour MPs have personally complained to their leader, warning him that such ads will damage the party's standing, especially in the blue wall seats in the south of England. Remember, on the 4th of May, England is going to polls to elect councillors. And so far, Labour Party has the clear lead. In fact, it is leading at 44% on voting intention polls. The Conservatives are way behind at 30%. And this is a significant lead, one that the Labour Party has not enjoyed in a long time. Is it because of the personal attacks that it is making against Rishi Sunak? Are they getting traction among the British citizens? Well, we will find out soon enough. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.